What's actually kind of crazy is, Ellen, for, for our relationship, um, there, there have been like little subtle moments where um, things you've said or kind of instinctually acted upon and maybe you didn't know that they were near and dear to my heart. Um, in those moments, I kind of saw that like, you're a woman who has um, a soul and, and character that um, I value and appreciate. And that has kind of like lended itself for me to let down some of my guard and be able to love you. In my mind, I've been anticipating this, this kind of one moment and um, I'm just really excited to be able to stand there and to take that all in as you walk down the aisle. So good, I'm grateful for you, I'm grateful for these men, and um, ultimately for, for what Jesus has accomplished. Without him, we would, I would not be at this place right now. And I am excited. Thank you for this joy. It's in Jesus' name, amen. That's all right. Amen. I'm so excited, Brandon. I can't wait to see your face. That's been my, what gives me butterflies. Um, I'm so excited to walk down the aisle towards you and have you be there. A year ago today, when Jacqueline and Dave got married and we were in New England, that was the first time that you'd come to New England with me and the first time you'd met my people. And that's the weekend that we started talking about, yeah, maybe marriage is a thing for us. And I've been so excited since then, so. Here we are, one year to the day later, and I'm thrilled. It's okay. happening. It's happening. No, it's already, well, it's only 12.30, but oh, I'm like, but the did this go fast? It's it, it's it, the morning went fast. Brandon and Ellen, I love seeing where each of you are at in your relationship with Jesus Christ. It's awesome. You are bringing glory to God. But I believe your desire to make much of God goes way beyond what we do in this ceremony today. I believe you want to make much of Him in your marriage. And God, through His grace and mercy, has been sanctifying both of you, making you Christ-like. And it is such a joy and a privilege to see the ongoing fruit of his work. I believe your marriage will be great because Christ is at the center of it. Well, Ellen, um, first off, I'm excited in, in just a few short minutes to be able to see you face to face. And I think I'm excited to just be able to stare into your eyes as my wife. Brandon, I love you so much. And I do not deserve to get to walk down the aisle to a man who loves me so well and is so patient with me and has romanced me so sweetly and is so willing to walk into this adventure with me. Today's the day where it starts for real. Um, and we've practiced being committed to each other, but today I say I do, and I want you to know that today I say it, but tomorrow I say it, and the next day I say it, and I'll say it over and over and over again. So if you only get one thing out of this little message this afternoon, let it be this, sacrifice. Brandon, it says you are to love Ellen like Christ loved the church. And you know that Christ went to the extent of suffering and dying on the cross for us. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. In our talks, we already explained that this doesn't mean you're less of a person than Brandon, and it doesn't mean that you are to be a doormat. But even so, you also have an incredibly difficult job to do. 
for instance. Not that he would do this, uh, or that he ever did, but hypothetically, <laughs> what if by chance he got the crazy notion every day for like a whole year to take a <laughs> Polaroid picture? <laughs> You may not agree with this plan. It, it may actually drive you crazy at times. But guess what? <laughs> In a few minutes, I'm going to pronounce you to marry. And if you're willing to follow biblical teaching, and I'm sure you are, you'll need to submit. And even respect his crazy ideas. As I said, your job as Brandon's wife could be incredibly difficult. <laughs> Kiss your bride. It gives me great delight to introduce you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brandon Miller. Some daisies are your favorite flowers. It's kind of different, but I don't think that it matters. I tell you every day, you're so sweet when you talk, and as pretty as a bouquet. I promise I'll be nice. I swear I'll treat you right. Well, come on, sit next to me. Favorite color when I look into 